welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go ahead and do my January favorites. You guys, I'm going to admit something. I recorded this whole video and it wasn't recording. I mean, I tried to record it and it wasn't recording. So here we go. Second run. All right. So we're going to go ahead and kind of do this quick. I don't want to have you, you guys here for that long, but I'm going to go ahead and start off with makeup products. So the two items that I have been completely obsessing over is this Revlon um, lip gloss. I'm going to say lip gloss because it says it's matte and it's not matte guys. It is nude and it has a little bit of a blush tone and it looks like that. It's super pretty. It looks really, really nice. I feel like this is going to be just the perfect nude for everyone's skin tone. And to pair it, I have been obsessing over this Milani 03 Nude shade right here. It goes just perfectly with this lip gloss. And I'm going to swatch it right here for you guys. I need to sharpen it, but um, that's what it looks like if you can see it. It's right there. But honestly, guys, I really like the Milani lip lip pencils because they glide on so nicely they don't tug at your lip which is something that i really look for when i'm looking for a um, lip liner so yeah it's really really pretty all right so moving on to two different face brushes that i've been reaching over and over and over this month um this is the equal tools brush and it's kind of small and chubby like that but i like it because it's a little bit like a fan brush and it's perfect for um just doing the contour and the bronzing and i don't know guys i really like this and i really recommend you guys checking it out also it's super super affordable i picked this up at the drugstore so i'm sure you guys can find it at your local drugstore all right, and then moving on to one brush that's a little bit more expensive, and I got this from the, it's like the It Cosmetics brush line by Ulta, but it looks like this, and this, guys, I have been loving it for blending everything out. I use it for blending my contour, my blush, and my bronzer all together. When I'm done doing all those three, I just blend it all together, and it makes everything just blend so seamlessly. So love this one. Go check it out. All right, so for the next product, I guess we're gonna move on to, okay, so this is a tester and you guys are probably like, Nora, what? why are you showing a tester? Like, no, you guys, this is serious. This tester is so small. Like, see, it's a small little packaging and normally you will get just the smallest amount for your tester, but this one, guys, this has a lot of product. I, I've been using this almost all month and I feel like it still has a little bit more. So honestly, guys, I love this and I wanna go pick up the big size bottle of this because um, I feel like this is gonna definitely be my nighttime under eye cream because the reason is that it is so creamy, so hydrating, it just fills in those crevices underneath our eyes and I don't know, I just love it. And it also wears really nicely with um, putting concealer on top. Although you do have to wait a few minutes because it is really thick, but it makes it doesn't make your concealer crease or anything. So I really, really like this. And I have another eye cream coming its way, but I think I'm gonna go pick up the, the bottle of this because I love it that much. All right. <clears throat> So, last makeup product is this right here. This is by the brand uh, Derma, yeah, Derma Blend. Um, and it is a white powder, it is white powder as you can tell. But you guys, I was gonna go ahead and buy the Laura Mercier um, Brightening Setting Powder for underneath my eyes. But I decided to give this a shot because I did have it in my makeup drawer and I hadn't used it in so, so long. So, uh, does it have an expiration date? Yeah. But anyways, I don't think I've had it that long. But um, it honestly, I love it. I love it for setting underneath my eyes. It doesn't make them crease. It really does set your under eyes. So I love it and it gives you that brightening effect like I'm assuming that the Laura Mercier um, brightening powder does as well. So yes, I would recommend this. Actually, I don't know if I would recommend it. I've just been using it. If you're gonna get the Laura Mercier brightening powder, then get that. But if you have this in your makeup collection, then go ahead and use that for underneath your eyes. All right, so now moving on. I All right, so the next product is the the Fake and Bake Sports Daily Tan, and it's a lotion. It's a tanning lotion, and it's a gradual tanning lotion, which is the kind of lotions that I like if I'm gonna tan, because I hate those tanning lotions that get leave you all streaky, orange, that super, super fake tan, and I don't like that. 
The one thing that I do want to say about this, if you are someone who wants an intense tan, don't go for this. But I love this because I'm able to build it up to the look that I want it to be. And I like, I've been using this like crazy the whole month of January because when I go to the gym and I'm wearing leggings that show a little bit of leg, I want my legs to match the rest of my body since I never wear shorts ever. My legs are so, so white compared to the rest of my body. So yeah, I like it. It does smell a little bit like fake tanning lotion, but I mean, I love it. And I always wear it just like the day before I'm actually going to go out, you know? So I like it. And I think you guys would like it too. Also, it's really affordable. It's $8 and I found it on Amazon. So if you are someone who likes a very, very subtle tan, then I would recommend trying this one. All right, so moving on to just random product. Yes, it's a razor. So guys, I've been using these for a very, very long time, but recently I have been just using this for like literally everything. Get rid of my little mustache, cause you know you have one too. Um, getting, or just fixing my eyebrows, doing the top, cleaning up my top of the eyebrows, even doing the little sideburn, you guys. And we all have cheek hair, like we all have hair. But since I have really dark hair, and yes, I'm Mexican, we're pretty hairy, um, I get like these little hairs right here, and it's not cute. So what I do is I just shave, of course, you got to go down, don't go up, because you will cut yourself. But if you shave down, and when you apply your makeup, your skin just looks like baby smooth, I swear. If you're going to try this, I do say be super, super careful. If you cut yourself, don't blame me because I said it and I'll say it again. Be super careful. But yes, I really love these little guys. All right, so moving on to, I have two more products left. Wow, not that many. All right, so my next product is by Bath & Body Works and it's a scent that I have already mentioned before in the past. But you guys, I have been loving this and I've been burning this all over my house, which I think the last time I talked about it, I said that I would only burn it in some areas of my house, I think. But I've been burning this all over my house this month. It's the Eucalyptus Mint, and it smells like a spa. Very minty, very herbally, just smells amazing. And yes, I recommend this one right here. It's one of my favorites, and I love it. All right, so the last product is a jewelry piece, and it is by the brand Nadri. And if you guys don't know of Nadri jewelry pieces, I get these at Nordstrom's, but they're really good quality, and they are affordable, which is a plus. But this is what it looks like. It's super delicate, which are my favorite type of pieces. It looks like that. It has little studs all along right here. It looks very, very nice. <clears throat> It looks like that, super nice. But what I like about this, and I think a good jewelry designer is someone who puts a lot of thought into their pieces, which I think Nadri has nailed it because if you look here, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but if you look right here, it has um, little diamonds right here. Of course, they're not real diamonds, but it has little studs right there. And who does that? Who takes that time to like, put little studs on their little thing where it attaches and not only that it even has this link if you want to like if you have a really small wrist which i do and then if you have a bigger wrist there's another piece right over here where you could attach it and the cool thing about this is that it's so detailed it has a little end right there for nadri and then on top of the end there's another little stud which I think is really, really cool, and I love her pieces. I actually have another one of her pieces, which is exactly like this, but it's a necklace that goes down like that, and I've worn it a lot of times in my videos, but I lost that one. But the cool thing about it is that it's affordable, and I can go get, go get another one without, like, you know, breaking my budget. So, yes, I really recommend you guys checking out the Nadri brand. Again, I got it from Nordstrom's, and they are lovely.
And that is it, guys. That is it for my January favorites. Oh, I also did want to mention that a girl here on YouTube contacted me and she wanted to do a collaboration video. So expect a collaboration video coming soon. It is going to be a Valentine's look. So expect that. And I guess that is it for today. I guess I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. As always, peace and love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe if you would like, of course. So today, and it's pretty cool because a lot of these type of foundations are just popping up everywhere. And I've noticed that this is the only drugstore one that I have found yet. So I decided to pick it up and so far I am loving it. All right, so the next thing is uh, lipstick. It's all get up close in person now. Color. More of a nude shade. You can see it right there. And I'm gonna wait for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. Bye.